What's next for the Veterans United Home Loans Amphitheater? That's the question on a lot of people's minds right now after a fire did some damage to the venue overnight. Yeah, Virginia Beach fire investigators have spent hours working to figure out what sparked the flames and Allison Basil is live by the amphitheater. Allison, where did this fire start? Well, I'm told it started in the production offices next to the stage, but photos from the Virginia Beach Fire Department show that the flames spread to the stage itself and behind me gates surrounding the amphitheater are closed and no one can get close to the entrance today. Now, Virginia Beach Fire District Chief Joshua Goyette says someone driving by around 1.30 this morning reported the fire. Seven crews spent about an hour getting everything under control. And all day, as you said, fire investigators have combed through debris to find out what caused this fire. In October, Virginia Beach City Council members voted to put $1 million from the Tourism Investment Program Fund towards renovating the amphitheater before the summer season started. City spokeswoman Tiffany Russell says that included roof and HVAC systems replacements, parking lot LED conversion, and new generators. Russell didn't know if those repairs had started yet. Now, this fire comes just two months out from the kickoff to the concert season, and some people in the community hope repairs happen soon so they can enjoy those shows. I always keep my eyes open for local concerts or musicals or plays that are happening and so yeah I absolutely will if they rebuild I absolutely will come and see something. Now the first concert of the season here is scheduled for May 14th with Janet Jackson and Ludacris taking the stage now coming up on 13 News Now at 5. I'll tell you what ticket holders to that concert I'll tell you how they're feeling today. Live in Virginia Beach Allison Basil 13 News Now. All right, thank you, Allison. And one firefighter got a small in, got a small injury during the fire, but a fire spokesperson says that they will recover.